Numbers. Not that I know of, and my phone's blowing up right now, and I got voicemail, so so um, not yet. What's up next? What's what's your plan for tomorrow? Gosh, you know, so we're gonna wake up and do Fox and Friends. Like it's kind of like the equivalent of going to Disney World for Republicans is getting to do Fox and Friends. Um, I'm sure that I'm, I'm looking forward to the president calling uh, probably tonight or tomorrow, and and making a game plan. And I truly have been focused in the moment. Uh, but certainly understand what's at risk here, what's at stake, and that's the Republican majority in the Senate, that we have to be the backstop, that, that there are so many important issues that, like, I, my, my dad was the chief of police in El Dorado, Kansas, for 25 years. We have to stand up for law and order. Uh, this, this concept of defunding the police is just so foreign to me. I'm going to stand up for the police. I think the police need more funding, that we're, that we're going to have make sure we have a strong economy, that we keep this virus under control. I'm going to be there for your families. I promise you, I'll be there to protect you, your families, your loved ones, getting you through this this crisis, this epidemic crisis, and we're going to do everything we can to get this economy up and going again. We're making great strides. You know, I shared tonight, we've stood on the shoulders of giants. This, this, this state has stood on the shoulders of giants, incredible leaders, Eisenhower, Dole, Roberts. And I prayed that I could be, you know, half the leader that they once were and help lead this country back into prosperity. Sorry, turning down the Carter Boy she has raised a lot of money, even in this primary, and spent a lot of money on TV. Right. What are you going to do to get back her? She was in the Republican Party and then departed, so she be popular among moderates. What are you going to do to win that moderate? Party? Yeah, first of all, we're going to share our story. A doctor and a nurse, we delivered 5,000 babies. We've lived the American dream. I was a fifth generation farm kid became a first-generation college student, and my American dream was to become a doctor. We moved to Great Bend, Kansas after our military experience, delivered 5,000 babies, raised four of our own children, and now we have two and a half grandchildren. I'm gonna share our story, and and then beyond that, we need to make sure that people know what Barbara Boyer's liberal voting record is as well. Uh, but we're gonna share this message of hope that, that we can get through this virus together, that we can defeat this invisible enemy together, and that we can get our jobs back. America has a great, has a huge choice this, this fall. Do they want the government to solve our problems, or do we believe that we can solve the problems? My job as a senator will to be empower local communities to solve their, their own problems. I believe we can get our kids safely and responsibly back to school. My job is to make sure that the teachers have the PPE, the testing that they need. So we can do this together. I think just we're going to share our message. We're going to share our story. And President Trump, never naming an endorsement in this primary, do you expect him to make an endorsement in the general election? Oh, I, I think so. President Trump is wildly popular in Kansas. He needs a Senate majority uh, to get his agenda through. And, you know, this to rebuild the economy, I've helped him rebuild the economy once, and we're going to do it again together. So, yes, we have a great relationship with President Trump. He and Melania are just are so gracious and so kind. Uh, so we'll, we'll do this together. Absolutely. We expect President Trump to be right beside us.